How you guys doing? This is Abel, aka Abel from Dragon Furies, and in this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating to you all how to do a Ma Boot properly, or what others are more familiar with, a horse stance. Now before I begin, I know there are other multiple tutorials to check out on YouTube for when it comes to training on the horse stance. For example, you have Jade Shu, Andy Lee from Marshall Club, Mei Chao Chu from Expert Village, Jake Mace from Kung Fu and Tai Chi Center, Shapeshifters Den, and of course, Sure the Young has a great demonstration about the horse dance and the roots as well. Although, there are more videos out there, I just picked out the ones that I personally saw myself and what stood out to me the most. And yes, while looking at all these different types of videos, you can see the differences on how each of these practitioners apply the horse dance too. So don't worry, we'll get to that soon. In any matter, coming from the book Kung Fu Elements, which is something that always comes in handy for me for when I want to read among stances, purpose, philosophy, or just the general attainment onto training. Every now and then I open the book to read through some things, just to simply give me a refresher. However, in a chapter that explains about developing stable stances, it's said that stances are like the foundation of a house. When building a house, the foundation must be built properly to withstand the structural requirements of the house, the occupants, and other natural and unnatural safety factors. So in other words, if you train in other various ways, your foundation always needs to become solid. Doesn't matter what it is. For instance, Shala Monk Shi Xing Hao said this in an interview as well, clarifying no matter what style of Kung Fu you can practice, traditional or modern, the goal is to always become faster and more powerful. As for the diversified techniques, I need to address that there are two different ways to do the horse stance. We will specifically be learning the long fist horse stance, but keep in mind that there is another as well. So you have the traditional horse stance and the long fist horse stance. The difference between the two is in the traditional horse stance, the feet are more narrow within the shoulder width area and the legs are more put above 90 degrees. Whereas in the long fist horse stance, the feet are placed to be over shoulder width apart and your legs decline becoming to be parallel from the ground. Again, as for the posture itself, be sure to stand with your feet apart about three to four times your own foot length. Face forward and keep your feet pointing straight. Squat down until your thighs are parallel to the floor. Keep your back straight and your fists at your waist. Or extend one arm to the side as if you were punching, just as shown right here. You can clearly see onto the left that the incorrect way onto doing the horse stance would be if the feet are too close to each other and your toes are pointing outwards. I like to call this the crab stance because, you know, you just simply look like one and that's not what you're trying to go for. This is called the Japanese crab technique. Even for that too, you wouldn't want your feet to be facing inwards also. This isn't Wing Chun. Just kidding. <laughs> I love Wing Chun. Otherwise, if you do so, you'll just fall right over. As well as for the back, never hunch over either. You want to keep it a good habit to have the back straight and keeping the chest to stay wide open at all times. For any of the drills, you can hold the stance for 30 seconds, gradually increase the length of time, and if you feel you are capable to do so, you can extend the duration on the position a lot more longer. You may also alternate punching or jump up from the horse stance to standing with feet together, then jump back into horse stance again. And you can switch it up. You can go down into one line just focusing on the horse stance and the posture, jump facing into different directions, and even strengthen the legs with horse stance style squats. Basically, you'll just be in the same position, bubble up and down just a little bit, not too much. Then onto the third, you will jump upwards, then back into the same position. Keep in mind that every time when you practice your horse stance, be sure to keep your feet aligned and with each other as well. If you ever find yourself where your feet are out of line, then you are not doing it correctly and the center of gravity becomes off. Otherwise, be sure to focus on your feet too. The more you do it the correct way, then you'll just do it naturally. And that's what you're striving for. 